hey what is up guys welcome back to this video series on CSS3 and so today in this video what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a new project using the CSS3 we have now completed the entire basics and the advanced topics in CSS3 and so now we'll be creating this simple you know like a, a blog layout using CSS3 so you can see here that this is the output of what we'll be creating in the next two videos and uh, so you can uh, this is just a simple blog layout and this is also responsive uh, you can see the footer over here and this is a blog post on the sidebar and when I hover over this uh, menu icons, it uh, you know like uh, changes the background colors and it is also responsive so you can see that when I you know like reduce the size you can see here that uh, the sidebar uh, the sidebar is, go is going downwards and the post is upwards and when I further reduce the size down you can see that the menu disappears and uh, there is this uh, nice menu icon and when I click over this there is this nice animation that will help you, you know, like uh, that comes out and uh, so the menu is being displayed over here and it also closes uh, okay so this is a responsive blog layout that we'll be creating in this uh, video in the next two videos okay uh, so now let us just get started with this thing close this up and uh, this is the empty project file and so you can see here that I've just uh, created this uh, simple HTML file that has uh, nothing to do it just has this uh, style sheet style.css and reset.css so reset.css is something like you know like a, uh, every browser usually has you know like a default set of CSS values you know like it will have uh, margins padding values etc so what this file does is it just uh, resets the entire default values of the browser so you can search on the internet to get this file it is available okay uh, so this uh, style sheet here is empty that will be we will be writing this uh, style sheet okay so now let us get started so you can basically see that uh, the blog layer that we'll be creating will have three sections the header part the main content as well as the footer so we'll be creating that layout now body We'll be having this uh, first one is header. Next one is the main content. And the third one is the footer. Okay. So in the header part, there are also two, uh, you know, like uh, two parts. The first one is the logo, and the next one is the menu. So First one is logo. The next one is a menu. Uh, actually, that will be a list. So, UL class menu. So, this menu will have menu items that will be list items basically. Home. Downloads, services, about us, and contact us. Okay, so save this up, and this logo will basically have the logo that can be a text or an image. So I'll prefer the text. So save it up and uh, refresh the page here. So you can see that this is basically the thing that we'll be creating now. So I'm sorry okay so we will be creating uh, we'll be creating flex boxes here so let's get started with flexbox now so you can see here that the style sheet is empty so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say the body as display flex so that the header footer as well as the main content will be flex items so this is a flex container and uh, you can also see that uh, this uh, header over here this is also a flex box so the packet code this uh, local will be a flex item and this menu over here will be a flex item and uh, still deeper you can see that this menu is also a flex box uh, with these uh, items as uh, flex items okay so now let us get started so let me just say header that will be a flex box display flex and uh, the menu so that has a class of menu that is also a flex box display flex save it up and refresh the page so you can see here that uh, this uh, nice menu appears here I am just going to remove the list uh, style so list type and style type and type is set to none okay so save this up and refresh the page so so this is the menu over here and the logo so it is better to you know like uh, apply the space around value for this thing so this will have a justify content of space around save it up and uh, refresh the page 
okay so let's just set the width to 100 percent okay and moreover what i'm going to do is i'm just going to you know like set the direction for this uh, body to column because you know uh, the header is over here and uh, by default that is a row value so the main content will go here and the footer will go here so but i want the header to be in the top the main content to be in the middle and the footer to be at the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to you know like set this as a column column uh, direction so save it up and you can also remove this width over here that is not necessary save it up and uh, refresh the page you can see that uh, uh, the logo appears here and uh, the menu over here so i'm also going to set this uh, menu to space around so there is nice spacing between this uh, one menu item and another save it up and uh, refresh the page so you know, like let me just set the flex value to one for menu as well as logo you can also remove this thing here save it up and refresh the page okay so this is better so i'll also you know like align this text to the center so logo will have a text align of center save it up refresh the page okay so this looks better so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to you know like set some padding to this and also a border okay so this will have a padding of 20 pixels and uh, list items so menu lie save it up and uh, this header over here will have a border border bottom 10 pixels solid this is you know like a shade of gray you can see over here this shade okay save it up and uh, refresh the page okay so this looks much better so what i'm going to do is you know like uh, let's just change the font first that looks awkward okay uh, font type and face so this is a rule that can be used for you know like importing uh, external fonts so this src property will have this url value that will you know like uh, lead to the font ttf and uh, the next one is called as a font family So basically you can use this uh, rule to you know like import any font that you want so let me just import two fonts save it up and uh, let me just bring up my file explorer roboto and uh, open sans copy paste Okay, so basically the links that I set up there will be linking to these font files here so the browser will know that uh, the font files are located here and it will use the fonts uh, from this particular file close it up and open up my browser okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set the font style for this to font hyphen face family family to open sans save it up refresh the page okay this looks much better so the next thing to do uh, to do is to you know like create uh, create these uh, hover effects over these uh, menu items over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use you know like the filters dot menu li hover i'm just going to change the background color and the cursor to pointer so now like the hand like icon appears over there and I hover over that and also I need to change this uh, you know like transition effects all 0.5 seconds so if you remember from our previous tutorials you just need to you can know that this is actually used for you know like uh, uh, you know like changing the property over a time duration so that it appears like an animation let me just show you how that works refresh so when I hover my mouse over this you can see that uh, the nice uh, you know the effect appears okay so that looks better okay now so let me also just remove this thing here save it up okay uh, this looks much better okay that looks cool 
okay so now the header is uh, ready and the next thing to do is this uh, you know like the main uh, the content part so let us work on that so the content has a class of main hyphen content i think so so yeah main hyphen content and so this will have a sidebar sidebar and a post area post okay so what i'm going to do is so i'm just going to copy paste the post content I had that in some other file don't remember okay open up my project file and i'll take the content from there so here is the content i'm just going to copy paste this Okay, so this is the content as well as the sidebar. So sidebar, save it up. And so this main content is also a flex box or main item content. So display flex. Save this up and uh, refresh the page. So okay, that works perfectly fine except for this width and the spacing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you know like uh, use this space around for this main content justify content space around save this up and i'm also going to set a maximum width for this uh, post area so post you'll have a max second width of 1000 pixels and uh, the sidebar we have a max width of 500 pixels maybe or 300 pixels maybe 400 save this up and uh, okay save it up and refresh the page okay so that looks better you can see that uh, there is this nice spacing on the either side and uh, the post is over here in the middle okay so now let us uh, you know like uh, bring this thing a little bit down so what i'm going to do is let me just use uh, line breakers I'm going to set a margin for this header. Margin like on bottom of 30 pixels. Okay. And let me just, you know, like uh, set the background color. So these are really basic stuff. Okay. So you can uh, style this any way you want. I'm just styling it to my style my taste save it up okay so now let us see how that looks okay that looks uh, awkward so what I'm going to do now is so let me just remove this margin over here and set a padding for this thing for the main content here And this will have a flex value of uh, flex grow value of one so that you know like, like it uh, stretches down all the way to the bottom save it up refresh the page okay that looks better except for the you know like the space at the top so that it didn't work what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you know like uh, use the line breakers the BR stuff remove this over here and go to the index page and uh, set line breakers okay save it up refresh the page not working still okay okay that works so what i basically did was i just you know like uh, set the margin for this two things over here the sidebar as well as the post 
so I set a margin top value of 30 pixels so you know it is like kind of separated from the header okay so let us also add a padding for these uh, post area as well as the sidebar so I'm going to change this to minimum of width okay so padding 20 pixels save this up refresh the page okay so that looks much much better okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring up the footer value also so what we basically did now was we just created the sidebar the post area the header and so now let us move on to the footer so the footer is really simple uh, let me just type in something in the footer first <coughs> so maybe Copyrights 2016 packet code all rights reserved. The footer, we just need to style it a little bit. Footer will have a border top value, so it is you know like it has a cool look like a header. So, border top of solid one pixel dash d1 d1 d1. Okay. And uh, the text will be aligned to the center. Flex of one, oh, not necessary. And uh, okay, so that should do. Refresh the page. You can see that the footer appears over here. So I'm going to set the padding for this footer as well as the margin bottom for this uh, two post area as well as the sidebar. So the main content and sidebar will have a margin margin bottom values too. I mean the post area. Okay, so that works uh, good. So I'm just going to set the padding for this footer. Footer will have a padding value of 20 pixels save it up and refresh the page so yeah that looks really cool okay so now what we are going to do is i'm just going to set the sidebar font values and the font for this uh, post area as well as a footer so the same as uh, open sans that i set in the header copy this thing over here and uh, main content will have this uh, font value as well as a footer save it up and refresh the page okay that looks better so i'm going to set a line height for this uh, text over here because you know like it looks uh, squished you know like squeezed together okay so let's just, let us just set that up line height of 50 pixels that should do save it up and refresh the page that looks way better than the previous one okay so now let us set the title for this post area so this is basically html stuff okay so you can set any content that you want to but uh, you know like i just uh, make sure that looks good maybe anything that you want here so that doesn't matter So this is a post so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the paragraph that I included now and I'm going to use the font uh, value to open uh, maybe Roboto font size of 50 pixels font weight of bold okay and this will have a padding of no, not necessary bottom Save it up and refresh the page. Okay, that looks better. So let me just set the margin. <coughs> I'm also changing the text to uppercase. Upper 
okay save it up and refresh the page okay so that looks better okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up this sidebar over here go back and uh, change this to padding okay so the sidebar will have some content now uh, sidebar maybe recent posts anything that you want in here so CSS3 is awesome powerful this looks funny but okay uh, this does uh, this doesn't matter great save it up and uh, refresh the page okay so you got the content over there and you can also add, add uh, line breakers and you can change the font style for the sidebar and do anything that you want to you can play around with that so you can see that uh, the main thing that you need to notice here is the layout so you can see here that uh, you can you brought this nice head header over here and the sidebar as well as the post area and the footer at the bottom uh, basically without using flexbox uh, bringing this footer uh, sticking this footer to the bottom to the bottom is really really difficult okay so if you're not going to use uh, flexbox then it is really difficult to you know like uh, bring this footer here and uh, stick it to the bottom so so it is really easy with this flexbox and also you know like uh, creating divisions with uh, equal heights is also difficult without using flexbox so you can see here that the sidebar as well as the post area is of same height so that is also a really useful uh, feature of flexbox okay so now uh, basically what we did is we just created the layout and we put in some dummy content in this so in the next video what we will be doing is we'll just be creating this uh, we'll modify this uh, code uh, that we did as of now so that it is responsive and uh, you know like uh, it is responsive and uh, it, is, it looks much better on mobile devices and other devices okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos thank you